and welcome to the SoCal Yearbook Gal Education Series designed to inspire, encourage, support, and make your life easier. This week we're talking about taking your book to the next level and a couple of organizations that can help you get there. And those organizations are the National Scholastic Press Association and Columbia Scholastic Press Association. And this is actually the second part of a series where I'm going to help guide you through that last quarter when you're done with your yearbook, maybe your editors are done editing and, and your designers are done designing, your photographers are done taking pictures and you're just waiting for that book to show up at your doorstep. So uh, there's a lot of time over there where your book is basically done and you can get ready for next year. You can submit books for critique. There's a bunch that you can do and we're gonna be focusing on that for the next couple of weeks. So the National Scholastic Press Association, if you wanna look into that, uh, their website is studentpress.org and Columbia Scholastic Press Association is cspa.columbia.edu. And the cool thing about these organizations is that they are so great at helping you take your book to the next level because they offer, they're actually where the, the judges and the critiques and, and all that fun stuff happens. And so, uh, so they have really great guidelines and things that they're looking for when they do their critiques and that can really help guide you when you're creating your book. So when I was a yearbook advisor we did the NSPA critiques and I loved it so much because they did such a fantastic job of telling us what we did well but they also told us areas in which we needed to improve and so um, the judge made handwritten comments on the critique form and um, and the comments were about content and coverage and design, writing, editing, photography, as well as how we met our deadlines. So it was really an invaluable resource. It's also a really cool thing to add to your staff manual. If you're creating that staff manual, you can write down any of the, the things that the judges caught in their critique and um, put it in there so that you don't make those mistakes again or if you want to change them for future years, you can do that too. Um, some of those things, maybe um, the type of things that you put on your cover, the maybe your spine copy didn't have the city state, that kind of stuff. And it's just, they do such a great job of kind of laying out exactly, you know, the formula for how to create a really good book. But then a lot of it is just your creative genius too. So, um, but those two resources, they have so much information for you to make your book beautiful, but they also will help you with the judging and critiques as well. So take advantage of those. Again, it's National Scholastic Press Association and the Columbia Scholastic Press Association. And I have the links here for you too. Take care.